Hi everyone and welcome to my place and the sewing school. The last time I was here, I showed you how I do my cheats baby quilt or any kind of a quilt. I've actually put a bit of effort into it and I've actually finished it, including the back, which I'm happy about. So when my little nieces come to stay, when they're lying on the floor, they've got something to lie on and it's all puffy and it's all beautiful. So now let me just show you how you actually finish this. And it's exactly the same as when we did the bagging out. So pretty much, this is how it is. That's the fabric. I put the, so I've got the back, the front or the top fabric. Then I put the wee puffy stuff underneath and then I put the backing on the back of that so that, for obvious reasons, so that when I was sewing, this little backy bit, the dacaroni stuff didn't get in the way. So all my squares have been sewn together and then there you have it. I also zigzagged around there so that I didn't have too much fraying away so that it was nice and neat. So once you get to here, the next thing is finding the backing that you want. So here's a bit of backing here and I think I'm just going to put it down like that. So this has been cut this, measure and cut this to size and I'm putting the good side, hold on, whoop, start again, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, we're going to put two, the good sides together or the right sides together, laying that out to make sure that all of my edges are all neat and tidy. And see, because I didn't um, zigzag that there, see all that there, all those little edges, we hate those edges and we don't want any kind of fraying. So once you get to there, and it is all nice and straight. And I forgot to say to you, make sure that you uh, you iron everything as you go to make sure everything's all straight. Right, that's looking straight to me and I'm just going to cut that across there like so, so that that's all neat and tidy. And then it's just a matter of, because I've got my right sides together, just going through around the sides with my pins and pinning all of those the top layer to the base layer and I'll just do this properly around there so you just pin up all around three sides leaving one side open so that when you bag it out or turn it inside out and I'll just quickly just do this you can see what I mean by you've got there's the top side and there's the back side. When you leave this little open with the opening that you've left, that seam there, the top seam there needs to be turned over. Um, if all of your seams are half an inch or a centimetre, make sure that the top is exactly the same. So that's going to be um, pressed down. That's going to be pressed down. And then what you're going to do is, and I'm so that's all going to be pinned across there, one moment, because I will show you on this one here. Where are my pins? Somewhere in here. Ah, here's my pins. Oh, here's my pins. So that's all going to be pinned across there, and then that's either going to be the hook and domes that I've already shown you, or you can just gently put a zip in if you want to, or you can just stitch that down with the sewing machine to make that nice and firm and neat. And I prefer to just stitch it across because the whole thing isn't thick enough so that it can go into the washing machine for a laundering anyway. So there you have a Cheats quilted blanket or floor rug for a child. Fantastic gifts to give to new mums. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. <laughs>